Hello everyone, welcome to my channel. My name is Lindsay. If you're new here, which I'm guessing you most likely are since I haven't posted on this channel in a very long time, welcome. I thought that since it's quarantine and I'm kind of running out of things to do at my home that I would start filming some videos and share a little bit about myself and things that I like to do with you guys. So for today's video, I thought I'd share with you guys my iced matcha latte recipe. It's really easy and it's absolutely delicious. I swear by this drink, it's incredible. So I hope you guys enjoy um, and I'll see you in my next video. <laughs> okay, bye. Okay, so the first thing you're gonna need is a cup filled with ice. So I just have my mason jar right here. And then some sort of milk. I really, really like almond milk, but you can use oat milk, normal milk, doesn't really matter. Um, this is the one I'm using currently. And then I also like to use a little bit of creamer. Uh, this is the one that I'm using currently. I also like this brand's milk a lot too. They have a really good milk, uh, almond milk. And then for sweetener, I like to use maple syrup. You can use agave, anything like that. And then this is the matcha that I've currently been using. It's really good. You're just gonna need one teaspoon of that. And then just to add a little bit more flavor, I also like to put in one teaspoon of vanilla. And that is it. Okay, so all I'm gonna do is add a little bit of hot water. You don't need too much, but this is how you're going to blend up your matcha. And then I just like to use this little whisk right here. And you're just gonna whisk that up. And the best way to do it is in a zigzag form. I know that sounds really freaking weird, but that's what you do. And you just mix it until everything is really nice and blended and you don't have any clumps. Okay, so the next thing you're gonna do is just fill up the majority of your cup with milk. So I kinda like to go like halfway. If you don't think that's enough, you can always add like a little more. It really doesn't matter, the matcha is pretty strong. So once you've done that, that's when I usually like to add in my matcha. So I'm literally just gonna pour that in. Okay, so don't mix it quite yet. Now we're gonna go in and add a little bit of our creamer just because it adds a really nice coconut taste and just makes it a little bit creamier and I really like it. At this point, I usually like to give it a little bit of a mix. So now we're gonna go in and we're gonna add one teaspoon of our vanilla extract. But it just makes it a little bit more vanilla and I personally love vanilla. It's literally the best. And then last but not least, you can kind of like eyeball this. It's totally up to you. You don't even need to add this, but I like a little bit of sweetener in my chai latte. So I usually add a little bit of maple syrup. That's probably enough. I may have even put a little too much, but whatever. A little bit of maple syrup, never hurt no one. Okay guys, so that's how you make your at home iced matcha latte. Let's give it a taste. really good yay okay so that's it for today's video i really hope you guys enjoyed and see you guys next time bye